Dendesk AI Drop Keynote. Hi there, customer experience community. This is Dominic. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to look at what has been announced in the Zenesk AI drop. If you've been caught off guard by it, I was also caught off guard and I'm into this stuff. For those of you tuning in for the first time, my name is Dominic. I'm a customer experience enthusiast, Zenesk consultant. I've been one for the past decade. Whatever I learn about customer experience, I come here and I share it with you to bring you value. Before we begin, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I only know that 9% of you are subscribed that, that are watching these videos and it will help a lot if you subscribed. Thank you so much. All right, so to do a bit of catch up on the AI drop from Zendesk, I am using internal notes. Don't know what that is? No worries. I am going to share my screen and I'm going to show you what this is about. If you can see my screen, I have internal notes. So this is actually a person behind it. His name is uh, Thomas. And I'm sorry if I'm going to butcher your name, Thomas. It's for sure. Thomas, Thomas for sure. Or Vershoren or Vershoren. Sorry, man. <laughs> so um, he works at Premium Plus, who's a premier Zenesk consultant just like us. And um, I think they're based in Belgium and the Netherlands. And Thomas is part of the team and he has founded this internal note, which is a newsletter that I really enjoy. It's written very nicely. It looks nice. It's very eye candy. And we get to see a bit of Thomas's uh, personal touch in there. So yeah, follow me in this journey. Okay, so I'm going to go in and start reading. If we don't know what to expect from this event, I had no idea. Zenesk uh, talked about this next big thing. And this is coming as a follow-up from the AI discussion they had in April of this year. So the discussion was around integrating OpenAI into the system to make Zendesk more efficient in terms of the AI capability. So let's start reading. They did announce something major, a full generative AI driven Zendesk bot that takes your existing health center content and turns it into a conversation. Oh my God, I love this. This is so cool because this does exist, but you have to get third parties to do it for you. And there's a bunch of concern with the privacy of the data. So if Zenesk is doing this, it's amazing because it's going to superpower the bots in such an amazing way. So yeah, let's keep reading. External notes. Okay, welcome session. So very strong Tim Cook vibes. <laughs> CEO of Apple. So Tom Egemeyer, who's the new CEO of Zendesk, he focused on AI, makes us rethink how you approach the X and the impact of Zendesk AI on the customers. Okay, good. Let's keep reading Zendesk AI. Biggest chapter of this keynote was the generative AI announcements as shared by Lisa Kant together with Candace Marshall, both from the product solutions and marketing team. Okay, let's see. Agent productivity. First one, the agent productivity section of this announcement felt a bit like a rehash of the previous we got in Zenus Relate in, in April of this year, 2023. And what this means is Zenus is not reinventing the product. It's just an addition to what they announced in Zenus Relate, which is already available. It's the advanced AI, if you know, like advanced bot feature that you can buy for 50 bucks a month from Zendesk uh, on top of each agent license. It's the same agent workspace that we already know, but with some magic fairy dust, as Thomas says, sprinkled here and there to surface additional context uh, to agents or make their life easier. So generative AI for agents EAP. So this is not available to the general public yet. It's still an EAP. The generative AI feature allows agents to expand or tone shift their comments before sending it to the customer. So in other words, it takes an exist existing comment and rewrites it with additional context from the conversation or changes it to a tone more serious or more friendly or, you know, click a button and stuff, stuff like that. So essentially what you do is you write your message and uh, the AI comes in and makes it a bit more formal, a bit more friendlier, or I don't know, it adds a bit more context, which is great. So this is how to help your agents be more productive and solve requests faster and be more polite and be more according to your company's verbiage. Okay, another one is similar tickets, again, EAP. So this new release is a new feature for the intelligence panel. So you already got contextual information like sentiment, intent, and language. So we do have these. The summary block offers anyone who looks at the ticket a short overview of the conversation. Now, this is great because the overview of this means that if an agent comes in and has to read through a back and forth of 57 conversations with the customer. The AI comes in and makes a summary and gives the agent context to what has been discussed when this is escalated, for example, all to increase productivity. What it also does is it suggests some macros 
for the agent to use. Based on what it learns, it gives a suggestion like, okay, use these two macros. These might be able to help. Now, this means you have to have good product documentation. So you have to have a solid background before you get into these advanced AIs. I know a lot of you come to us and say, hey, we need help with AIs, but there is no baseline in your Zendesk to make sure everything is working correctly. Everything has been documented. You have macros, you have business rules, you have a knowledge base in place and the uh, guide. So without those, you can't really have these. So you have to have a solid setup, which is still like the old classical, you know, if you can't imagine just going with a wrench inside of cars or under the hood and you just start, you know, fixing it and putting it together, much like a, an Ikea furniture, let's say, you have to have the structure in place before you start decorating it. If you want to look at it this way, you look at uh, AI is a decorative thing on top of your furniture. I hope that makes sense. I'm not a furniture guy, but that makes sense right now. Now to dive a little bit deeper in this one. So whenever an agent gets a ticket routed to them, the intelligence panel will now service related solved tickets for them. They can check out how issues were resolved in the past, maybe copy uh, over some troubleshooting steps to get the resolution quicker. Nice. So it gives automatically looks up tickets that are related to this one uh, from the past. So you can easily go in and see how your colleagues did it. So you can do the same, copy some information, maybe create a macro also if you haven't already in order for the AI to suggest to you next time or to your colleagues. Okay. So to conclude the agent section of the announcement, Susanna's voice also got some love. So this is scheduled in November and Zendesk will generate a transcript and summary and intent sentiment analysis at every phone call. Nice. Okay, so every ticket that has been created by a talk will get analyzed by the AI and an intent will be put against the ticket and a transcript. So anybody else coming in can, you know, just read um, what has been discussed and, uh, you know, you can create business rules on top of that as well. So Thomas says it assumes this is powered by Whisper and will make it a lot easier to escalate incoming conversations to second line or to capture nuances of a phone conversation and say it nice. Okay. So another section is the bots and automation. So scale self-service with less effort and create more natural conversations. I like this a lot. Let's see, the core of Zendesk self-service and ticket deflection strategy has always been your help center articles. I, I told you, I told you, <laughs> I mentioned this at least 45 times in yeah, my YouTube adventure. So if you go through past videos, you'll see that I'm always, I've always banged this one. I didn't even know, but yeah, look, it's confirmed. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a word from our sponsor and you're never going to guess. It's us. Duh. <laughs> if you want to use a Zendesk consultant's 10,000 hours to make sure you're getting the most out of your Zendesk, if you want to have simplified processes, if you want to make sure your team is productive, you want to make sure that your customers are getting the best customer experience, show management that you made the right choice with Zendesk, automate as much as possible to free up time for you, then hop on over to roca.work slash offers and we'll ask you for your team size, we'll ask you for what kind of service you need, and then you leave your name and email, and we'll give you a ballpark. Now, based on this estimate, we'll be able to see how our services best fit your needs, and if we are a good fit, let's start optimizing your Zendesk. We do this in three phases. First is we optimize Zendesk to make sure you're getting the most out of it. Second is we apply best practices in your niche. And third, we focus selling more of your service or product. Now, again, go to rocka.com work slash offers get a ballpark and let's get the conversation there and let's start optimizing i'll see you later bye okay so let's go to generative replies for bots so what this means is your help center will now serve as the starting point for the ai to start reading what it has in there to make it into a conversation to the customer now the older bot as it's called answer bot it was called answer bot it used to just look for keywords, match it with some articles in the knowledge base, and we'll just, yeah, here's an article or two. And now in this case, it's taking, you know, snippets of information from there and it's making it into a conversation. Cool. By using generative AI, the Zenith bot now allows for a more human-like conversation experience with the additional benefit that it can quote that specific paragraph of information to your customers instead of just returning long articles. Uh, this is really cool. Okay, so a bot persona, again EAP, so let's see. Alongside the new generative bot answers, Zendesk also introduced bot persona. So this feature allows you to tweak the tone of voice of your bot to align with your company. 
very nice. I like this a lot. You can have a professional, friendly, or casual voice for generated generated replies. I would like to have a playful one if you ask me. That's my that's my thing. This is not only allows you to make sure that your bot sounds like not like a company, but it also consistently apply to all automated messages. It makes it into a, you know like a unified experience for um, your bots and for your communication. So which is great. PR people are going to love this. Intent suggestions for bots. Okay, so let's see. And finally, the last big Zendesk bot related at release in, in a new dashboard in the admin center that shows you an overview of the intent trigger by the customer. For each intent, you can see the parent category, category, the frequency it's been, it's been triggered and the ability to map each intent to a specific custom built answer or the generated answers via the Zendesk AI. Okay, so since this new screen is available for a few days now, I've already explored a bit and it seems like it's a very useful tool to use for a weekly or monthly review. Okay, nice. Yeah, I like this. This to open this view filter to only see intents that have been triggered a lot without an assigned answer and then make sure to either map to the right answer or create a new one. I'm a big proponent of the check your help center stats weekly and make sure the top 10 unanswered and answered intents and the related articles are reviewed. Approach of maintaining a good self-service offering. Yes, sir. Keep maintaining stuff. You can't just do it once and then like, okay, I'm done, bye. No, this is a living system. It has to be updated. Well, not daily, but at least weekly with stuff, with improvements. It's like anything, you know, you can't expect to do something great because think about it. You are not the same person even in, I don't know, a few months from now, if I look six months from now i was like oh man who was that douchebag uh, well obviously i'm not that mean to myself but you know i've you know like oh you silly boy you used to be such a young boy but you know i'm learning i'm, I'm evolving and so is the system your business is evolving you know you're selling new products you're you're adding stuff you're you're improving you're hiring new people you're changing strategies you're communicating a marketing I don't know, campaign. This is how you get your people to not be interested in you anymore if you don't update. Okay, another section is Zenesk AI for admins. Although Zenesk reorganized their product into a meaningful connection, scalable service offerings, flexible change as three main pillars, I always like to think of the product as customer agent company. Okay, fair enough. Customer is omnichannel, proactive boss, self service. Agent is agent workspace providing context, make work easier. And company means insights, processes, and integrations. Very nice. It might be an old way of thinking. It's not. <laughs> but for me, it structures the way I build Zenesk instance and see a ticket move from customer all the way to reporting. Yes, that's obviously always the case. That you look at a ticket from the moment it comes in. And uh, that if you want a stamp that ends up in your uh, in your reports. Okay, so AI for knowledge base. The Zendesk Help Center got a bit of upgrade already this summer with the introduction of uh, semantic search, replacing the old search engine with a more modern and better, better working version. Today's update doesn't focus on the end user experience, however, but induce, introduces Zenus AI into the article editor. Nice. Article editor with Zenesk, with AI. Nice. Okay, similar to how agents can expand and tone ship their comments, Zenesk guide got that same fairy dust okay like the touch and you can select articles or paragraphs and rewrite them with ai nice okay so i just put in like some methodology that i use and then i let the ai just generate you know some formatted nicely generate more context so it looks better nice okay custom intents okay and finally to conclude zenesk ai section of the presentation zenesk announced some powerful new addition to the intelligence triage an intense feature with an upcoming upcoming, upcoming ability to edit or translate the predefined list of intents who better match the language and terms used in your company. Now, okay, nice. Uh, let's see. Zenex also will preview the availability of custom intents and customer intent models in the future. But there's more to come in the future. Okay, nice to see that. Zenesk AI for HR and IT. Okay, so for human relationships and uh, informational technology. Zendesk isn't just for customers. With this new intent for HR and IT companies, you can leverage Zenesk AI to make sure employee questions are routed to the right team. Okay, so nice. I love this triaging thing because it uh, takes so much pressure away. How do I route my tickets? And yeah, this is a very good way of doing it. This can be combined with the existing, existing features like private groups. Make sure that, that sensitive tickets are one visible to a select group of people okay advanced data privacy and protection in the relate in 2023 zenith had this awesome quote 
of their slides. And now, half a year later, that concept turned into an SKU with their lineup, the Zendesk Advanced Data Privacy and Protection Add-on. Okay, cool. This add-on makes a lot of security features available to companies that every company should have, but not every company needs. So uh, my view on this is very secure always, but yeah, they are adding this as well, which is amazing. I love that. Okay. And then I have, we have access log, data retention policies, advanced redaction, data masking, advanced encryption. Okay. I recommend that you subscribe to the newsletter and uh, read uh, all of these. Okay. So conclusion, this was quite an event and uh, yeah, I like what I see with the new updates. I really, that's really cool. So in April, Thomas said that he was skeptical about paying 50 bucks per agent for the advanced AI. So was I. I actually mentioned this in a few videos, but this one makes it seem reasonable and really cool. So I like this. I'm looking forward to actually getting this up and running so I can play around with it so I can make a video for you guys so you can see what it is about. It's always difficult to show you how this would work in a real life environment because we only run a test environment and we don't have as many tickets as you know some of you might have like 10k tickets per day or per week. I'd be amazing. That would be so rich in data so we can see stuff. So yeah. I really love uh, if we connect and uh, we can get to work together on this one. Okay, so this has been the video. I hope this brought you value. I really enjoyed it. Go ahead, go to internal notes and subscribe to Thomas's uh, e newsletter. Amazing value, looks good, it's very informative, and uh, yeah, it's also fun. So I'll see you in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.